In San Mateo, a small group of anti-Trump protesters waving signs, rallying in front of the iconic Bank of America building on El Camino Real. The group was encouraging others to call their representatives, demanding they impeach President Trump and disqualify him from holding office in the future. Berkeley Law Professor Bertrand Ross joining us now. Bertrand, thank you. And both Democrats and Republicans talking about removing Donald Trump from power. Speaker Pelosi saying the House may move forward with that second impeachment. So how unusual would that second impeachment be? It would be extraordinarily unusual. There has never been a president that has been subject to a second impeachment, nor has there been a, an impeachment so late in the term um, after during a lame duck part of the president's administration. So this would be um, un, unusual grounds um, for an, or unusual territory for an impeachment. And others, uh, including some senior Trump administration officials, as we've been reporting, discussing this 25th Amendment. Can you I explain to folks how that might work? So the 25th Amendment would work if a majority of cabinet members, with the approval of the vice president, determine that the president is unable to perform his duties. And then they would transmit a message to Congress, um, letting them know that they have invoked the 25th Amendment, and the power of the presidency would be passed down to um, Vice President Trump, uh, Vice President Pence. Um, thereafter, the, the president can contest the determination that he's unable to serve, and then Congress would have to ultimately make a determination as to whether he's unable to, to serve. Um, according to a, a supermajority vote. So impeachment obviously does differ from the 25th Amendment, but with only two weeks left now in Trump's presidency, is there time for Congress or his cabinet to act on either one of those? Yes, there is time. I think that the reason why people are calling for the 25th Amendment is that it's because it's a more expedient measure. It just it simply takes the, the support of a majority of cabinet members and Vice President Trump, so it can happen rather quickly. The impeachment process will usually, does usually take more time. You have to have an impeachment proceeding in the House, and you have to have a trial in the Senate. I think the goal of the impeachment is, is less to, um, to get the president out of office, to remove him from office, but rather to disqualify him him from being able to run in future elections and to be able to take take future offices take office in the future and a stain on his legacy for sure that would be all right professor ross thanks so much for joining us always appreciate your insight of course